What up gang? Today we have a video on the ever popular Mountain Blade Warband. We'll be focusing on how to win unfavorable fights with the settings on very difficult and be using the ACOK or a Clash of Kings mod to demonstrate our techniques. In this playthrough of the game, we've just accidentally waged war on the Lannisters. Uh, not a big deal when your leadership and fighting skills are as good as mine are. As you can see here, our fighting force is quite small and our quality of troop isn't great either. But regardless of these minor hindrances, I'm very confident that with my spectacular leadership skills, this army can conquer any army belonging to the swine that are the Lannisters. So without any more flocking about, we're going to go and fight the first army we encounter, uh, which actually would have been these village farmers, but unfortunately they're far too fast for us. So it looks like we've encountered our first two lords, so I'm just going to take a moment to adjust the settings to what they need to be here and show you that they will actually be on difficult before we get straight into this battle. So give me just a sec here. sure that combat speeds on faster not fastest I don't want to make it too ridiculous but it will be hard here we go so we're gonna go for the stronger of these two lords the one with the party size 127 unfortunately this battleground is not really what we want we don't want a lot of trees because it makes it a lot harder um, I'm gonna try and get out of this fight it's not something that I'd usually do I like to be loyal to the men as I do it you know I find it ruins the immersion if I'm not so I'm going to try and get out of the fight. Uh, I'm actually going to have to leave a few men behind here, which is quite devastating. Uh, I'm very attached to my men and get quite sad when any of them die. So to leave 12 of them behind is obviously going to be uh, quite upsetting, but that's okay. Uh, we can beat the army with 30 men. So I'm just going to... Uh, oh, the morale loss too. That's okay. When we beat them, we will actually go up by about 25, 30 morale. So we're just going to try and find a bit better area to engage these guys. Uh, ideally, a bit more of a plain field or something like that. And then we'll get straight into it. Um, so just down here towards the uh, southwest looks pretty good. Um, we've just got to keep him close, keep him interested, keep him baited. And hopefully he'll bite on our hook which will be his uh, demise. Perfect. He's taken the bait. Uh, wow, he's actually tried to trigger us here by reminding us that he's got 12 of our friends hostage. So we're going to get straight into this here and set up some formations. Archers will be mobilizing to this hill because it's a great vantage point. And the infantry, when I can sort my fat fingers out, will be setting up a shield wall formation below them. So somewhere over the hill there, there's a scared general waiting to have a brawl, which is good. Just check the settings, okay. Move these infantry down to the bottom of the hill, like I said originally. Please game, please. His morale will be dipping severely here. My crossbowmen are already starting uh, to fire upon the enemy. So this is going to be a pretty easy stomp for us, I would say. I'm just going to take a second here to show you guys my character. He's not super OP, he's a trader. I'm going to chuck a point into looting here because that's how confident I am. And I want to make sure the loot that I do get from this fight is going to be good. So we can only put one in there, but it's enough. I'm just going to get off the horse here and let the men know I'm going to go in and scout for a bit. So we'll just let the boys know here. No worries, lads. Oh, fucking hell, that's embarrassing. Back on the horse anyway. They know I'm a good leader, they know I'm a strong leader. Um, I don't need help, I'm going to leave these cavalry behind because I think they're following me. Just check, yeah, get back there boys. So we'll just go up onto this hill and have a wee scout. I have been likened to Robin Hood with a crossbow, so all of these shots should hit pretty instantaneously. Can't reload on horseback. Alright, we'll get down and have a few shots. Uh, very surprised that first one didn't hit. Uh, we'll try again here. Wow, okay. Um, wow. Third shot. That's better. Alright, that horse seriously regrets coming to this battle. And that horse. Please hit something other than a horse. But not nothing. If, if you're going to hit nothing, hit a horse. Wow, nothing again. Please hit a horse. 
Nothing. Fuck. Yeah, fuck you, horse. I'm starting to feel like this is a horse shooting simulator. I'm not aiming for the horses intentionally. Something appears to be bugged with my cross here. These would usually all be shot straight into the heads of the opposing knights, but that's okay. They're actually getting quite close now. Uh, I may start to pull back to the army, but as you can see, my crossbowmen are pelting them. Um, they don't seem to be slowing down, which is a real shame, but again, hopefully we'll knock a few of them off their horses, uh, and our infantry will take care of them. So we're going to start knocking these knights off any moment here. Oh, we killed one. Not us, but someone killed one. Oh. Okay, it looks like they've begun their charge. This shouldn't be a worry for the shield war here. Uh, there's a lot of them, it does seem, though. This is not great. Okay, start the combat. Wow, an instant knockout. That's very... Oh. Oh, we hit one. Oh. We're going in. Fuck it. We need to help the boys out, it seems. I don't know what's happened, but the shield war hasn't done its job. We... Alright, it's okay, we can still take this. We'll start with this guy. Fuck. Ah! Oh. Fuck! Mm. That's fucking bullshit. Um, okay, fuck this. Fucking stupid game. Hey, thanks for watching, guys, and if you laugh, make sure you leave a comment. Thanks, team.